So we are here in downtown San Jose. We only have about two hours to explore before we have to get out of here. So let's see what we can do in those two hours. Since we parked in the Azare Avenue parking lot, it was natural our first stop to be Discovery Meadow that is right across the street on Wazway. So right now we are here in Discovery Meadow where the Children's Discovery Museum is located as well as the largest Monopoly board ever made. The Discovery Meadow. It is home to the Children's Discovery Center where children can play and wonder at the many interactive exhibits in the museum. A fan of the game Monopoly? How about using yourself as a game piece on this giant Monopoly board? It is the world's largest Monopoly game board at 930 square feet. You'll also see a cluster of bronze animals huddled in a group called the Parade of Animals. It is designed by artist Michael Boris. Not into all these kitty things? How about a long walk? The meadow runs right along the Guadalupe River Park. This trail is a great way to see most of downtown San Jose. Next stop is San Pedro Square where it is foodies heaven. San Pedro Square. It is a block full of old and new eateries alike. During the day, the street may be a tad empty, but at night, the restaurants and bars are packed, especially during a Sharks game. You have restaurants and bars that have been around for years, such as O'Flaherty's and the Firehouse No. 1 Gastro Pub, a favorite of mine in my college years, by the way. Or maybe you prefer the classic old spaghetti factory with its beautiful back brick alleyway. This alleyway was such a cute find. I really like it here. Too bad it's only like 500 feet long, but it's really cute. But the most action you'll see at St. Pedro Square is when a Sharks game is going on. And people tend to favorite the new St. Pedro Square marketplace with its spacious seatings, flat screen TVs, and a variety of foods to choose from. Today on the screens is the World Series. At the marketplace, you will also find something very old. Here in the courtyard is the city's last remaining structure from El Pueblo de San Jose de Guadalupe. This adobe was built in 1797 by an Apache Indian named Manuel Gonzalez, the first residence of San Jose and the second mayor of the city. Across the street is another historic building built in the 1950s, the Carmel and Thomas Fallon House. So that is it for San Pedro Square, and we only have time for one more stop. So I thought, why not share with you guys where I went to college, which is San Jose State University. Whoa. <laughs> so let's go. Through the doors of the Martin Luther King Library, you will find San Jose State University. It's been years since I've graduated here and so much has changed. There are familiar places and there are places that are completely new and more changes are happening since the entire end opposite of the library is still full of construction. Look guys, another new building. I am so jealous that you students get to have all of these new awesome buildings such as the student union. I didn't have any of that when I was here. Everything was old. <sighs> Good times. you know a little bit more about downtown San Jose I hope you can come and visit and see it for yourself but until then I'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>